So here's a very anticipated video I wanted to do for a long time. Um, I'm gonna replace the coolant tanks. This is a very, very big issue in the G30 community and a lot of people have this problem. And I hope by changing this, it'll fix it. So the very first thing you wanna do to make your life a lot easier is remove the bar. So you have a lot of access to the reservoir and the tank itself. You wanna remove the caps, put them to the side. Now, the first gen G30 series, they had the old coolant tank uh, for obvious reasons. And once I pull it out, I'll do a comparison to the new one so you can see uh, the difference. Now keep in mind, if you were to order this with this part number for the first gen, regardless, you will get the second generation tank as well. You wanna get a flathead, something very, very small. You're gonna see this little clip. Now be careful, on your car, this line might be very fragile. I just replaced mine to a new second gen, very nice one. So you just go under the little clip, pull it up forward. Here you do the same thing. And you come to this one, be very careful. I haven't replaced mine here, so this cable is very fragile. Be very careful there. And pop that clip open. Now I made it easier for you guys, and I took off my wheel and my wheel well cover. You should do this, make your life so much easier. Let me show you why. You'll see two clips. Those three that I just did up top, you have two over here. You have one on the top, the big tank, and one on the small tank. So I already pulled the one for the small, and for the big one, you just slide it out. Sometimes it'll come off, but we can just slide it back in. And you also have a sensor. So with the sensor, needle nose pliers, you come and feel right where the clip is, right back here, you'll be able to feel it. Squeeze that clip. My God, look. It flooded the sensors. Man, that thing was cooked. Put this to the side. Make sure you lean it over this brace bar so when we flush this out, that doesn't get all wet. All right. So the next thing you want to do is get a bucket something you can drain the little bit of coolant that's left in the big tank. Make sure you get a few rags to put around in case you um, you miss the hole. <laughs> so you take on this guy right here, you pull down, you just kind of wiggle it out as you're pulling down. And there it is. Make sure your car is cold for this. All right. Once it drains, just aim this sucker up because if not, it'll start to drain some more. So just aim it up. The next guy is this one. Oh. All right, once that nightmare is over, just make sure you point this guy up as well so coolant doesn't leak everywhere. Now you can do it my way, the quick way, or you can go to the front of the car and drain the entire coolant from the front of the radiator so you have no coolant in the system at all. You come out of these holes, hoses, pull it off. Just be very careful with yours unless you buy this while you're buying the tank so you can replace this as well. This guy goes right into the radiators. And you pull it off just like that. Just be very careful. And now this one here, this is rubber so you can just go ahead and Tug on that guy, just like that. Next step is very simple. You come back around down here, you'll see it's held in by this grommet. And the little tank is connected to the big tank. And the only thing holding it is this little grommet. And right here, there's a little slot. So when you pull up on the tank, this slot will just come out of place. And I'll show you when I take it off. So we have all three lines removed. You grab under the big tank. You're gonna feel right where the sensor used to sit. So I'm reaching around the top. You're gonna come right here where you get a very nice grip on it. You're gonna feel the sensor. 
get a nice good grip. And right here is the grom that I can feel with my fingers. And then all you do is pull up. Now, keep in mind, this is the old grommet that came off the old box. When I pulled it, I heard something snap, and this was it. Luckily, we don't need this anymore. Come look at the new box. You're gonna see it already comes with its grommet that sits literally right in that hole. So we'll go ahead and start installing this now. So here is the tank. Clearly it looks very bad. Leaks everywhere. And look at the very top where the cap used to be. So with the new tank, it's kind of cool how it works. The little tank connects right to the side and you're gonna see where it sits. So I can get it with the light. See, kind of like so. Put that piece over here and you slide it into place. And that puppy isn't going anywhere now. So, same way this came out is the exact same way it's gonna go in. You see this little piece right here? That one? It's going to slide right into this hole right here and kind of just latch on. So we're gonna put that little piece over here on top and then once we're pushing down, it's just gonna sit in place. And this little piece right here, just make sure that you clear it when you're putting it through down so it doesn't give you a headache. All these things out of the way here. Let's check from the bottom, see how we're doing. See, you got it back into place. Let's push on top from a little bit so it's nice and sturdy in place. push it forward so you see here it's not clipping into place it's not coming through the hole so you just push it forward a little bit and push down and now it's gonna sit very firmly in place come back to the top take this you make sure you really push it in there and push down the clip this guy's not going anywhere. We come with our very fragile friend. Ooh. Clip. Shove that in there. Lock the clip in place. And the third connection is underneath this guy and goes into place right there. So this is the second one that we took off. It'll literally just push it right in place. If you have someone to help you, just make sure they push on the little tank while you're pushing up. Okay, clip it, give it a good tug, make sure it's not coming out. This was for the guy that the clip fell out. Let him show you how easy it is to put it back on. Before you put it all the way in, just slide the clip back in its place, push it in, lock it in place. You take your sensor that took a nice shower before with coolant. Make sure there's no water in there or liquid. And the poor thing should connect right in place. Don't forget to clean up. The nightmare mess that you just made if you don't drain the cool now take your funnel now this is why i didn't drain my coolant is you just have to refill until you see it on the max line start the car turn the heater on to a slow setting and keep checking until it hits it's between its max and medium line do the same for the little guy and make sure you keep doing that until it's there Make sure you get 50-50 mix of BMW antifreeze coolant. Sucker open. Cap. Do that. And you let it drink. Now that took quite a bit of coolant. 
to refill. As you see, we lost a lot earlier, so that's a quite a bit. And it's right, come over, see if you can see. Keep going, keep going. Right between the minimum and the maximum line. I might give it just a little bit more later when I turn the AC on and let it uh, do its thing. So now you fill the little guy. Quick example on how to prime the system with the water pump. You go in the car, you hit the start stop button three times, one, two, three. Uh, you turn the AC to 84 on the lowest fan, not the high, the lowest fan. And you're gonna start to hear your water pump go on. You come up here. Tank. You're gonna see they're still cooling in there. All right, and that's how you change the G30 expansion tank. Uh, big headache. And now it's gone. I actually let the car run for about 15 minutes and there was nothing wrong. There was no leaks. It still had coolant between the minimum and maximum line. Finally. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions. Peace. Jump. Warranty my ass.